Welcome back to another Wednesday on The Pagan Perspective. I'm your Wednesday host, Jekka, and this week we are talking about New Age and Neopaganism. So the full text of the question is in the description, but basically it's what do we think of the New Age community, um, saying that it's often lumped in with Neopaganism, what are the similarities and what are the differences. So I found this to be a little bit of a tricky topic because both terms are very large umbrellas that include a lot of different groups and there isn't a really clear solid definition of what is new age and what is pagan and by the way um, neo-pagan is new pagan so basically modern incarnations of paganism um, and New Age, the what we t often think of as being New Age came about in the 60s and 70s, even though that um, it has roots and threads from previous time periods. Um, I believe that it had something to do with the, um, the New Age in astrology. Um, that's not really my field, not, I don't know that much about that, um, but that that's where that term was coming from, or like a new age for humanity. So thinking about it, and reflecting on how I hear those terms used, and what my understanding of them is, I was able to come to the idea that I think New Age is a culture or a subculture in Western civilization and pagan and paganism is actually a religion. Now there's a lot of overlap between those. Um, religion can certainly be a very important aspect and part of culture and culture can really inform one's understanding and expression of religion. But there's a lot of there are a lot of people who are very new age who are from who are christian who are buddhists who are atheists who are pagans who are all of these different things but their expression of their religion their expression of excuse me there's all kinds of little noceums under here but it's way too hot to be out in the sun um please don't get in my eye <laughs> but their so their expression is the, the New Age part. And there's certain um, practices, there's certain um, music, uh, types of activities that are common and values that are common to that group, um, independent of religion. So often a lot of things that one might consider woo, um, woo, woo and uh, New Age are not, are, the Venn diagram of them are, are very, very overlapping. Um, some people even use those terms interchangeably, but that doesn't mean that, I'm sorry, these guys are getting in my eyes. Um, and there's a lot of, of pagans who practice many of those things, and I think there's a tremendous overlap between those two communities. But one doesn't have to be, I don't think that all neo-pagans, excuse me, are new age. For instance, I don't really consider myself to be very new agey, even though I, I live in a community where there's a lot of people who are and there's been some influence. But many of the things that we talk about on this channel that are tools are tools that new age individuals or new age culture likes and uses a lot like you know crystals and um meditation energy working things like that 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 are in that intersection between the two but as we've talked about before not all pagans use crystals i don't use crystals um i do use meditation um you know there's a lot of that um but yeah, most, I would say that most people I have met who I am aware of are pagan are also 
very much involved in that new age culture, but not all of them. Um, a group that I have recently, I suppose, joined, have been participating in, really value, uh, is the Atheo pagan community, so other non-theist pagans. Um, I would say that the majority who I have interacted with, from my impression of them, are not very new agey. I know um, quite a few pagans who work up at Lanel, um, Los Alamos, and most of those are pretty, um, I would strongly hesitate to include them in the New Age culture. Um, and then of course, as we mentioned at the beginning, that there's tons of people who are part of the New Age culture who aren't pagans. Um, so that's kind of my, my take. I think they're just such broad communities that it's very difficult to make a good um, definition of exactly who they are at this point. So I actually really look forward to hearing everyone else's take this week on that. And if you have any takes, um, as always, it is wonderful to hear from you. So I'd love to. And until next week, take care.